FutureNet y FutureNet Pro. Business, FutureNet. FutureNet y FutureNet Pro. To the FutureNet Advertising Program. FutureNet. FutureNet. FutureNet Pro. FutureNet. FutureNet Pro. FutureNet y FutureNet Pro. FutureNet. Okay, so welcome back to video number four in this Fast Start series for your FutureNet business. And we're now uh, going to my favorite part of the FutureNet business, which is the Future Ad Pro section, which is the business that I've been building for the past six and a half months, seven months now, actually. And I've done extremely well from this business. And I want to show you all the ins and outs of how this works because I want you guys to really take on board the opportunity because FutureNet have created an incredible platform. They've, been cre they've created the first, in my view, the first truly sustainable revenue share business. And I say that with honesty and with integrity because I've been part of revenue share companies in the past, uh, companies that have only ever relied on the traffic exchange to drive revenue to the business. And I've seen these companies come and go. I've seen the fact that the, the business model where you only rely on the purchase of ad packs to sustain the business really, to be quite blunt, doesn't work. Uh, the, the big two or three revenue share companies that have been around for the last few years have all come to a sticky ending where they've either been shut down, they've either run out of money, uh, or they've just not been sustainable. And and it's because they never had any serious external sources of additional revenue to sustain the revenue share element of the business. It's important to know, I think, that a revenue share is based on the profits of the company. Now, if the company are relying on profits generated from the purchase of ad packs, then they are entirely dependent on people bringing in new customers. And of course, you know, every business is dependent on bringing on new customers. But the truth is you cannot pay out more money than you're getting in. So it's absolutely imperative that any rev share company has multiple income streams coming into their business and FutureNet have in my view they are the only company to have actually thought this whole process through properly in a business like way and because they want to see this business around for the long term and we've seen already the fact that they have the matrix system which is generating revenue for the company you've seen the fact that they have the FutureNet shop they have the online shopping portal they have the other products and services that they have on offer they have the external advertising on the FutureNet social media platform so they have all these additional revenue streams coming into the business they have the FutureNet games again another source of income and something that I haven't spoken about and I'll probably leave this uh, till the very end of this Fast Start series uh, because it's incredibly exciting and I'm gonna play a little video and talk a little bit about it at the end, but the company are going offline into real bricks and mortar style business opportunities. So we're gonna talk about that later, but I just wanted to make the point that any revenue share, if it's gonna be around for the long term, if it's gonna be sustainable, there has to be multiple income streams being generated by the company selling other products and services to make those profits to pay out on the ad packs so with that being said let's take a look at the second business element of the company the one that, the one that i uh, am absolutely over the moon about and that is future ad pro so let's go into the left hand menu go into the business section and we're going to click on the future ad pro account the future ad pro button okay so here we are in the main future ad pro dashboard now over here on the left hand side we have our main menu and what we'll do is we'll go through each one of these sections one at a time and um, we'll try and give you a clear explanation as to what they all do 
okay um, this video will probably be a good 20 minutes or so um, there's no point trying to rush through this part because we'll be only asking more questions so let's just take it one step at a time and we'll go through each one of these different sections um, and spend a little bit of time on each one so as you can see we're on the main dashboard and you can see it here as an advert this is the traffic exchange okay this is where we uh, will watch our 10 ads where we will buy ad packs where we can advertise our own products and services and you're going to see adverts on the actual site if I scroll down see other adverts people will click on these and when people click on them a commission is made and uh, that goes towards the advertising revenue of the company so <clears throat> this is all going to help sustain the revenue share element of the business but let's just take a look at my uh, results at the moment you can see right now I've got uh, 834 $50 ad packs. The ad packs are now divided into $50 ad packs and $10 ad packs. The $10 ad pack was introduced last weekend, um, the end of October, uh, and it was released at the, the big corporate event that we had in Poland, which I attended. And uh, it was great to see the $10 ad packs being introduced because there are many, many countries around the world where $50 is a lot of money to pay to get involved in a business and uh, there are countries like India and Southeast Asia and Africa and South America and some of the Eastern European countries that uh, quite honestly the people do not earn the kind of income that many of the more modern Western countries are earning so to introduce a $10 ad pack really does open this up to a huge potential audience around the globe so that's why they introduced that um, but as you can see uh, in my particular business I've got 834 ad packs now I did reach a thousand ad packs back in the end of September of 2016 and uh, it was great to hit that 1000 ad pack target I'd set myself a goal of achieving that by the end of this year 2016 and I obviously did it well in advance of that and to reach a thousand ad packs was great because that is the maximum number of ad packs that anybody can actually have in the $50 ad pack. Uh, now if you go to the $10 then you can actually have a maximum of 100 ad packs. Now obviously the significance of getting to a thousand ad packs means that you're going to make the maximum amount of revenue share available from the company and right now that is working out uh, approximately uh, $650, um, that's a kind of rough estimate, and uh, that's per week. So you, you could make, when you've reached a thousand ad packs, okay, at the $50 level, you would be able to withdraw every single week a minimum of $650 into your bank account. So that's a very nice wage uh, to have coming in and of course what happens is you get that money um, every week and you will be able to actually purchase more ad packs to sustain the thousand pack level now of course I'm not uh, at this stage on a thousand packs and that's because I decided to make some bigger withdrawals I decided to take more money out of the business uh, because I've obviously been building this business for six months and I wanted to use that money for things um, that I wanted to purchase so I'm going to actually be getting down to about 800 packs and then I'm going to start rebuilding back up to 1000 and then I will probably just um, I suppose I'll probably just uh, keep that, that 650 coming in maintain my thousand packs and focus on generating more revenue from the actual uh, process of bringing this business to more people in the market, bringing in more personal referrals and being able to earn more referral commissions from uh, the team that I build. So that's going to be my strategy. I will get back up to 1000 ad packs uh, over the course of the next couple of weeks and um, I'll make my withdrawals. I will probably withdraw about 650 from the rev share 
and make withdrawals from my referral commissions and we'll talk about the referral commissions in a moment but as you can see right now um, on this particular page you've got these six boxes um, that you can see here you've got the ad pack um, area which I've just shown you we've got, we've got what's called an advertising account uh, we've got the future ad pro account which is your ongoing balance uh, then down below we've got advertisement and create new ad packs by and my team so these are all very self-explanatory uh, probably what you need to know is a little bit about the advertising account now what happens is when you generate revenue uh, from your referral commissions um, now a percentage will be taken from that and allocated to your advertising account and you can use this money to purchase more views or more advertising uh, views to any website that you want to advertise any other business that you've got and you can use this money to buy discounted views inside the advertising platform and uh, we'll go through that a little bit later uh, obviously the future app pro account this is my ongoing balance and at the moment I've got three thousand one hundred thirty two dollars now this balance will go up every 15 minutes because the script that the company are using basically calculates the profits of the business and it will calculate the percentage of profit that you're going to make based on the number of ad packs and of course the referral commissions that come in every 15 minutes so this will go up every 15 minutes and no doubt if I uh, refresh the page at the end of this video you will see that 3,132.64 change to a higher level now <clears throat> down below here on the left is the advertisement section this is where you can create your advertisements your um, adverts which will be shown inside of the future net traffic or the future Ad pro traffic exchange and next to that you've got the uh, ability to purchase ad packs so you can click on here and you will be able to buy them and you can click on team and see who's in your team so let's just take um, for a second uh, a look at the actual future ad pro account so if I click on here now this page just gives you uh, um, you know a bit more uh, detail it also allows you to do um, uh, some some functions here you can actually uh, pay let's have a look you can pay if you click on pay you can actually pay money and deposit money into that account if you wanted to buy more uh, ad packs etc so um, you know it's just a, an extra function so let's just go back for a second now if you click on the advertising count uh, tab this is going to just take you uh, again to a page that's going to um, just tell you what you've got in your account basically and what you've got in your advertising uh, fund so you know no, nothing to um, really talk about there um, now if we go into uh, buy ad packs let me just center this up a little bit Right, if we go into buy ad packs now you've got a little box that will come up and it'll give you two options it'll give you um, an option to choose which type of ad pack you want to buy whether you want to buy the $10 ad pack or whether you want to buy the $50 ad pack now it also tells you that the $10 ad packs work slower than the $50 ad packs in fact it says it's about 80% of the speed of the $50 ad pack now what that means is that when you purchase a $10 ad pack you're going to make uh, $12 for every $10 uh, you spend on an ad pack over a certain period of time now that time period is going to be a little bit longer so it's going to take um, um, an extra amount of time for those $10 ad packs to mature into $12 ad packs okay so um, that's just been done because they want to incentivize people to actually purchase the $50 ad packs wherever possible and again you know these will mature slightly faster but again you have to remember that these packs will only mature at the rate of the profits that the company as a whole is making every 15 minutes so if the company is not making as much profit in one quarter of the hour then obviously it's going to move slower if it uh, makes more profit, then it will be a little bit quicker. So they will take a probably, a, and I would guess they will probably take an average, but you know, have to just bear in mind that all of this, uh, all of these um, 
uh, ad packs that mature over time. It's all based on the profits that the company are making. So um, you have to bear that in mind. Now, also, if you want to obviously purchase, you're going to just click on the 10 or the 50. So let's just click on the 50 as an example. And uh, it'll take you to this page. And what you'll see here is you'll see uh, your online account with your actual balance. And it will tell you how many packs you can purchase from your balance. And in this case, I could purchase 62 packs if I wanted to. Now, if I don't want to buy 62 uh, packs from my balance, um, then um, I, you know, maybe I want to buy more, then I could actually also buy more by adding packs in here. And I could then utilize these various payment processors to add funds to purchase those additional packs. Now, you've got a, a wide selection of different um, processors, of course. Uh, you've got everything from Bitcoin and dot pay, uh, so forth, advanced cash, Nutella, perfect money, Western Union. Uh, you've got solid trust pay and you've got pay year and to pay for you. Now, they did used to have PESA. Now, um, clearly they've, oh yes, they do still have PESA. There it is, it's um, down here. <clears throat> so you could use PESA if you want. I didn't see it there, I thought they'd taken it away. Now, I um, uh, tend to use my bank transfer, so uh, you can also do it by bank transfer. Probably the quickest way of doing this is to use Bitcoin. Um, I love to use Bitcoin. I use Bitcoin myself. It's a great way of um, doing these transactions very, very quickly. And um, But, you know, it's entirely up to you what you do. You've got various options here. Uh, and again, you can also use FutureNet club code. So uh, you could actually generate codes from your matrix, type your code into here, and then click on buy. So if you've got, for example, a couple of hundred dollars in your matrix account, you could create a code for $200 and you could enter that into this little box and click on the buy button and that's going to buy your ad pack so you can use utilize that money to purchase ad packs as well so very very simple and it's the same process for the $10 ad packs as well so very very simple indeed so let's go back to the dashboard so uh, so here we are back on the dashboard and what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the rest of this menu so if we now click on the next one down which is my profile now when you join future ad pro uh, you log in very important that you actually set up your profile correctly you want to put your avatar in here put your address details now i'm going to obviously uh, just blur this information out um, i don't want all my details plastered all over the internet um, you're going to have to verify your account okay so what will happen is, um, of course, I've already verified. There was when I first started, I didn't do it correctly, and those are the three attempts that I that I tried and failed with. And um, in the end, I got it right, and then it was accepted. So you're going to have a verification uh, section in here, which is going to ask you to supply some information that is going to correspond with the information that you put up here. So they're going to want a um, an ID photograph, maybe a passport photograph or a driver's license uh, maybe there will be a document maybe a, um, a utility bill or a bank statement pass possibly required I cannot remember to be honest because it's seven months ago now but you'll find that will be in this section here so um, you know bear that in mind you need to do this in order for you to get qualified to pay um, to, to actually withdraw your funds so very very important also on the right hand side um, of this particular profile section you can see the number of ad packs that you have in your business so you've got your ad packs and in my case i've got 834 here and my frontline team as you can see these are frontline ad packs i've got 2912 ad packs that are generating uh, commissions for me uh, every single day and across to the right hand side here I've got 8,673 uh, ad packs from my five levels of commissions. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that in the next section. Um, but this is hugely powerful, guys. This is what really does make this business a spectacular 
uh, opportunity in terms of the revenue that you can generate uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, <clears throat> let's now leave this page and go across to the next section, which is my status. So here we have um, the status. I'm just going to um, make this screen a bit smaller. Um, I can't really let's see if I can bring this across. That's better, I think. There we are. That's better. So I can possibly make that a bit bigger again. There we are. So what we have here are um, your commission structure for the affiliate commissions from people that you refer into the business. Now, there are what we call five status positions, okay? One, two, three, four, five. And each one of these positions, um, apart from the position one or status position one, uh, you have a uh, an annual or a six monthly or even a monthly um, payment which goes to the company. And um, this really is for um, you to be able to take advantage of these five tiers of commissions, which is incredibly powerful. So on status position one, um, if you decide that you want to join the Future Ad Pro business and you want to buy ad packs and you want to surf your 10 ads a day, and we'll talk about that in a second, and start generating revenue from referrals, then on the free position, you can have up to a maximum of 50 ad packs and you're going to make 3% commission from any person on your first level. In other words, anyone that you refer into the business, if they go on to purchase either a $50 ad pack or a $10 ad pack, you're going to make 3% commission from those people. So uh, clearly, if you were buying someone who's buying a $10 ad pack, you're going to make 30 cents. If you're um, somebody is buying a $50 ad pack and obviously your $50 is going to be 3% um, is $1.50. So that is uh, the commission that you would make on that first level on the, on the status one. Now, if you were to move up to status two, you're gonna get a annual uh, uh, fee to the company of $30 or you can pay $16 for six months, and that will allow you to have up to 100 ad packs at $50 and 25 on the $10. And again, this now go, is going to open up two levels of commissions for you. So you're gonna have 4% paid up. So you notice it's moved up from three to four. You make 4% uh, on your front level, and then you'll make 1% commission from anybody that your front level bring into the business and who, of course, purchase ad packs. So again, that's all extra commissions to you. Now, as you progress through the different statuses, uh, it goes up to level three, which is $80 a year, $45 every six months, if you want to do it that way, or you can pay $8 a month. That will entitle you to have up to 300 ad packs on the 50, 50 ad packs on the, on the $10, and you are opening up three levels of commission. Your commission rises to 6%, on level one, three percent on level two, one percent on level three. Now, I'm not going to go all the way through this, but you can see very uh, quickly that um, you know you've got the two extra status levels, the fourth and the fifth. Now, I went straight in at the fifth. I paid my $180 annual fee. That opened me up to five levels of commission. It raised the percentages up to eight percent, four percent, and then those one percents on the next three levels. So. That was a terrific bonus for me because it enabled me to start generating revenues from obviously all of those five levels uh, as my team have built their team. So a lot of money coming in on a daily basis. So that's your status position. That explains how the referral commissions work. Very, very powerful compensation for sharing this site and for uh, helping people get traffic to their websites. So let's now move on to the next section, which is landing page. Now in here, you are able to actually, um, let's have a look, you can let me see now. <clears throat> uh, this is right, so okay. So this is statistics. Um, now I'm not using the, the landing page, so if I was to actually, let's just click on there, open it up in another link. 
see what that shows you. So here's a landing page that I could use. Okay, this is obviously a company landing page. Um, for more information about your email, now people can pop their email in there. Now, if I was to use this landing page to promote FutureNet and uh, people landed on it and subscribed, then I would obviously see the number of subscribers in here um, and, and people that, have con that were confirmed. And, um, you know, this is, this is all part of the analytics of those pages. So let's go into settings. And <clears throat> so if I want to turn that land page off, I can. Um, obviously, you've got an email autoresponder sequence that is sent out automatically to them. Um, there's two, that's how many days. This goes on for four days, five days, six. There's a seven day email campaign that will be sent out if you use that landing page system. So again, you know, if you don't have your own landing pages that you want to use, you can use this landing page system, collect emails, and you can send out those emails. Uh, and hopefully uh, you're going to be able to bring in some uh, leads and make some sales. Uh, I don't tend to use it because I have my own systems that I use uh, which work well for me. So um, that's the landing page system. Let's move now on to the advertising section. So if we click on advertising, this is where we can actually purchase advertising to promote our own products and services or other products and services that we might have. Whether it's an offline business, whether it's another online business, whatever it is, you know, if there's something you want to get um, promoted, you can do it through the traffic exchange through this section. So, what you can do is, um, you can actually, in here, you can obviously look at your ad packs. You can buy new ad packs, ten or fifty. You can buy new one thousand ad views now. At the beginning, we saw, if we just quickly go back, we had this advertising count, $70.99. Now, if I go into the advertising, click on the buy new 1,000 ad views, you can see here is, and this is really important actually, you want to pay attention to this because I have made a mistake before of using the money in my promotional, uh, sorry, in my main online account, which is money I normally would draw, and I, and I use that to buy advertising views and I didn't realize I had my advertising view account down below it and of course um, I spent that money and I couldn't get it back so very careful use you know you need to go to buy views with advertising account and not buy views with online account unless you actually want to so I could go in here and buy views um, it says I can buy 14,000 views with your advertising account so I can use that money and I can get 14,000 views to any website of my choosing um, and providing it fits within the guidelines uh, of the company and I can get views to that website and there's a lot of traffic um, uh, which is available and I know that many many people get lots of leads and sales for all kinds of different things using the traffic exchange so here also down below is um, the ability to purchase more ad views using um, the various payment processes. So that's how you buy more ad views. Uh, but of course you've got advertising, you want to view your advertising, you want to create a new ad, you want to manage your advertising. You've got holiday time. This is um, where you can actually purchase holiday time which allows you to not have to click on your ads. Um, maybe you're going away on vacation and you're not going to have access to the internet. You can give yourself uh, some holiday time. It does cost you obviously but it's going to be able to alleviate that issue of not being able to click your ads if you're in a position that you're not able to. So um, you've also got customers. Let's have a quick look at the customer section. It's not something I've really looked at but actually this is something that's powerful. If you have got businesses in your local area that, you're, that you maybe know, maybe you know, maybe part of the Chamber of Commerce, maybe you know work in business and you've got friends you can create free voucher codes to buy traffic for um, businesses and you can offer this to them and they could actually you know sign up under your link and potentially go on and buy more advertising you're going to get paid for it so these vouchers are very useful I could if I wanted to buy 83 now from the um, the income that I've had in the business so I could create these vouchers and offer them to businesses. Maybe I need to step up my game and start doing this because uh, it uh, seems to me that I'm wasting an opportunity there. 
Um, and let's have a look at the points. So I don't think this is ready yet, so we won't worry about that. It's just coming soon. So there's new things obviously in the pipeline. Um, now, in terms of creating a new ad, let's just go in and click on create new ad. And these are all text ads, so that the traffic exchange is all based on text ads. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your title of your advertisement in here. Okay, you're going to put in your ad copy here. And of course, you want to make it relevant. You want to make it stand out. You want to make it interesting. Um, you're going to put your link into here, whatever your website link is. And you can test it. You can preview the ad there by clicking that open button. But this is important here down below. You've got some filtering settings. This is going to enable you to actually be a bit more selective uh, about the type of person that you want to see your ad so if you've got a female uh, orientated opportunity you might want to just click on the woman section and it might be um, the fact that it's something that is people that are maybe over 30 um, and 50 so you can uncheck these boxes and you can choose your country and you can choose language and then all you need to do is you need to just literally assign your views so at the moment I've got 95,879 views available I would just put in you know however many views maybe I wanted 10,000 so I'll just click in 10,000 click on submit and um, <clears throat> that would then basically create the ad now what would happen is um, well, if I did that now of course I'm not doing that at the moment uh, I haven't put all the right information in but when I click on that submit button it's going to take me through um, <clears throat> to uh, the advertising section when I'm going to go and manage uh, manage my advertising and what will happen is I'll come down to the bottom and the very bottom ad will be the new ad that has been created and what you have to do then is you have to come in here okay very important and you have to type in the number of views that you want okay um, uh, so you're going to click in the number of views that you want here and then you're going to click in assign views and once you do it in this section your ad will then uh, go off for uh, scrutiny and then the company will uh, basically put your ad out there they'll still um, uh, put your ad out there and, and if there's an issue with it they'll they're gonna basically pause it they won't send it out and you may have to change a few things you know it just depends but generally speaking you know if you look at the type of ads that, that you put in there um, that I put in there then these are all approved and um, they're put into the, the exchange and as you can see you know I put in the 30,000 views and I've got 2,915 clicks to that particular ad and I've had people signing up to that particular business captured leads etc so very very good um, source of advertising so that's pretty much um, the advertising section covered so let's now go back down to the business if you click on the business section um, this is where you can see more about your team, your online account, your marketing, your payouts, your commissions, uh, the career plan, payments and rankings. So you've got all of these different elements. I don't need to really go into all of these, but what I might do is just give you an idea about commissions. So let me just click on In fact, We'll talk about commissions and payouts. So let's go on commissions. And in here you can see um, we've got the ongoing commissions at the moment. I've got 3,149 in my account, 45,163 commissions earned from my ad packs, 23,373 earned from my business partners, and these are my commission statements. And you can see from the very beginning, when I first started, I joined in April. Um, I made 2018 in April. In May, it went up to 2,898. In June, it went up to four and a half thousand. In uh, July, it doubled up to eight uh, eight thousand. Then it went up to twelve, sixteen, and then it's gone up to eighteen thousand nine hundred ten in uh, October. So um, there's a definite trend there, guys. You can see as the business is growing and expanding, my revenues are increasing, and I can show you um, how these break down. Uh, on a daily basis so from my ad packs this is yesterday's date the 4th of November uh, I made $416 in commissions uh, today so far um, 390 we've got a few more hours to go so as your ad packs are obviously reducing so these commissions will reduce um, when I had the maximum ad packs 
I was bringing in the maximum number of revenue and I think it was around about um, let's have a look the first uh, the end of uh, September when I got to my maximum number of ad packs and as you can see there 481 uh, dollars I was getting um, on that day 462 the day ne the next day 486 480 488 you now in the high 480s um, and that's what I was getting on a daily basis with the thousand ad packs coming in and um, I can also break this down by my business partners so you can see commissions coming in on a daily basis so these are commissions I'm making from other people's ad packs this is um, all these commissions here now obviously if I scroll down today's date is the 5th of November <clears throat> so we can keep scrolling down you can see all these <coughs> excuse me are commissions gosh quite a few so I keep going keep going keep scrolling right okay so there's the fourth so from that point onwards and if I scroll up all of these commissions are coming in from a whole variety of different uh, ad pack numbers okay um, you know anything from 10 cents $16 $2 40 cents $4 $4 $4 these are people purchasing ad packs and um, all of this adds up you know it it does add up at the end of the day and um, for me I've been probably doing around about an average of about 130 140 dollars a day um, with referral commissions and that's growing uh, on, a, a, on a on a regular basis because as my team is growing and they're buying more packs on so making more commissions so that is um, great revenue to be receiving in every single day and if I go out to my payouts now uh, you can see uh, so far I've actually withdrawn seventeen thousand three hundred seventy one dollars um, and, and that was if I come down here that was from the uh, beginning of October so when I got to a thousand packs I hadn't done any withdrawals prior to that um, I had uh, just been buying my ad packs working on getting to a thousand packs and now as you can see all of these uh, transfers okay um, I've been receiving these commissions these are the actual commissions that I've received and confirmed and have come into my bank account so very happy with that um, you know over three and a half thousand dollars on a daily basis sorry on a weekly basis I should say and um, they're paid in to my bank I do a bank transfer it cost me seven dollars a time now you'll see a differentiation between the amount I withdrew um, from my account and the amount that actually goes into my bank because what happens is when you do a payout five percent five percent of your commissions goes into upgrading into the FutureNet friends tree and you're going to keep on basically purchasing uh, positions in the matrix and of course what happens is your sponsor is going to get a, a commission because of that person obviously buying a position in the matrix so it's a kind of really nice little system whereby we're, we're, we're sustaining this revenue share uh, further by taking some of the money putting it back into the matrix helping our sponsor um, get more positions in the matrix making commissions but also feeding some of the money back into the system so I, I think it's a good idea and as you can see you know I'm happy to be getting three thousand seven hundred thirty five dollars um, for that week I know I've had to give away 196 but as people uh, you know they they withdraw in my team I'm gonna make commissions in my matrix so I'm getting some of that money back but also we're sustaining the, the business so I, I'm happy about that so <clears throat> I think um, we'll now just take a quick look at the team section and here you can actually see your team you can click on this little dot here and um, check that box and it'll tell you um, in your who in your team is actually purchasing packs and who isn't basically so you can see who's doing really well and I've got some some good people in my team who are, who are really building a business um, some people started with one pack but never ever got off the ground you know a person here on the third of um, sorry, the 14th of the third bought one pack but never did anything um, you know I've got other people that are building the business consistently um, you know it's it's you know you can't make people you can't force people to take action some people either get it or they don't some people don't have the patience but for me 
this is a terrific business. Um, it's got the, the long-term sustainability that I was looking for. I've, I've got people in my team that are building. Um, but not only that, if I uh, go onto my tree five levels, I can basically tell you now that there are people in my business um, that are you know, really building this. Uh, and they're building a team below them. So if I just find someone like, let's have a look. Um, <clears throat> Let's find somebody that's really building. There we are, Mike. So if I click on Mike, he's got 868 packs. And if I click on his list, he's got a team building himself. So now here we have uh, Rene, Steph, um, you know, other people in his team that are purchasing packs. You know, this guy here, 247. Now I'm making commissions. These are the commissions I'm making from that person in the second level. So, you know, it's a powerful, powerful opportunity. Somebody here, look, you know, $214 I made there, 382 and this one. So, you know, it's, it's terrific that you're getting people joining and building the business. Now, of course, a lot of people won't take any action. Um, <clears throat> they don't realize the power of this. Um, and, you know, we see it all the time. People jump from one thing to the next. But for me, there is no better opportunity than this. So... Uh, it's a passive income stream for making money uh, through leveraging your team as well. Uh, you're making money through the revenue share from all the other products and services. You make money from the matrix. And uh, I, I just think this is a, a terrific opportunity for people that can just literally purchase packs and make money from the revenue share if they want to do it that way. Share this website for free. And... Uh, you know, benefit from those members that purchase packs or get involved with the matrix. So it's a no brainer of a business for me. And, um, you know, I love this feature app pro business. And I think that it's the best uh, revenue share business currently on the marketplace. It's going to be sustainable for the long term. So there's not going to be this worry that the business is going to collapse in a couple of years and uh, you're going to lose everything. So so what I want to get on to next is to just quickly show you the actual traffic exchange itself and show you what you have to do to generate this earnings. Um, really, really simple, guys. So all you're going to do is you're going to come on to this dashboard page that we're on and you're going to click on the blue button that says watch ads. Now, we have to watch 10 ads every single day to qualify for our piece of the revenue share pie. And that is literally all we have to do in terms of the actual activity on the website. So we're going to click on the watch ads. So if I click on there, this is the very simple traffic exchange. As you can see, there are, uh, let me see now, three, six, nine ads displayed. Okay. And it's up to us what we click on. You know, we might just have a little peruse around these ads and see if there's something that's of interest or we may just click on something randomly so let's just start clicking on this one and when we do that so it opens up a website and you can see this green bar will uh, run across the top of the page and when that green bar gets all the way to the end that means that we have watched the ad for the the time that um, is allocated and you'll see what happens when that bar gets to the end and we can scroll through and look at the ad and see if there's anything here that interests us. Now, if the ad is or the website is um, appealing, if there's you know something that's on there that's going to be attractive, um, then you know, great, we might well click on the ad and end up purchasing something. I'll have to say, for me, this um, doesn't do much for me. I wouldn't necessarily want to click on it. There's nothing that's really grabbing my attention. So um, all I would do is I'd go on to the top section here where it says um, open a new tab next ads or close and I'm going to just click on the next ad so um, all I'll do is uh, go back to the traffic exchange and click on another ad. now if you look at this ad that one is probably what I'm going to click on because they've done something unique inside of this um, text box and I don't know how they've done it but, what, but however they've done it it's um, it's eye-catching that's drawn my attention so I would click on it just to see what it is and let's see what the ad itself does so um, 
they've got a video on here but it's not a video that plays immediately I'd have to click on it which is a bad sign you really want to make sure that when you're putting videos onto these websites that they play automatically so that's something you need to uh, make sure that you do but again nothing about this ad that is grabbing my attention now I may be kind of wanting to be click that button just to see but I'll be honest with you I'd rather just have the the video start playing so again I'm gonna click on the green next ads button and go back to the traffic exchange now it says here you are qualified to um, you know basically watch two ads so you are qualified to the 6th of the 11th 2016 now I clicked on my 10 ads earlier today um, so I'm qualified until 637 tomorrow um, I could click on these 10 ads again and that would change that time when, when I clicked on my 10th ad uh, that time would change um, and it would correspond to a 24 hour period starting from the 23 40 or 45 however long it takes to watch that final 10th ad so all you guys got to remember to do is that if you don't click your ads you're not going to get paid if you miss um, the ads basically if you if say for example you, you know the time lapses by an hour or two you know don't panic as long as you go on and uh, click your 10 ads basically all that's happening is that the, the traffic um, sorry the revenue share isn't isn't um, activated so you're not earning for those two hours um, you're not losing anything you're just not earning for those two hours you're just you're just missing out on those two hours but it, you know you're not actually losing that forever you can still obviously carry on clicking and you'll get that money back at some point that's how simple it is guys you just have to do 10 ads a day clicking on the button let the green bar do its business to the end and watch the next ad and that's it and um, it's as simple as that so with that, um, I'm going to talk about another opportunity which is really exciting um, with this FutureNet brand and we'll do that in the next video. So um, I hope that was a good explanation of how this opportunity works and if you have any questions obviously reach out to us in the group. There's always going to be somebody in there to answer your questions. So with that, uh, I shall see you in the next video. And I'm going to talk about something special, something exciting that's coming very, very soon to this opportunity. Thanks for watching. FutureNet and Future Pro. Business. FutureNet. FutureNet and Future Pro. To the FutureNet advertising program. FutureNet. 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 FutureNet.